guys welcome back so today we are going to do the um window envelopes from junk mail um these are some that i have coffee dyed um you don't have to use coffee dyed envelopes but as you can see because they're coffee dyed i really don't have to do anything else to them so let me just show you some of what i have so this is a belly band that I've made and I have put um, a beautiful little image out of this book here. I used that and got the image for this. Now I did sew around um, my belly band. You do not have to sew. And then I made my belly band the size to fit into my idea book and so we will go ahead and put it in there and so as you can see it's just a little bit smaller than the page which is perfect and so we'll go ahead and stick this in there and so this is one good way to use an envelope a window envelope and it gives a really good um, image for a gorgeous belly band. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And so now we have that belly band in there. So that's one of the things that we are going to make today is the belly band. And then I'm just going to set this over here. And then this is a bookmark. And again, I have sewn around this. You do not have to sew at all. Um, I just did because I had it available. Um, and then out of the other part of the envelope from this, I just took that little piece that I cut off and I made a pocket that can be glued into um, one of my journals. So there's that. And then this one, I made like um, a long coin style envelope out of it. And then I stuck another image um, out of that book into it. And so as you can see, I could have put some different stuff, but I'll show you how I done that. Um, but I love the fact that you can see this image. And so this envelope can either be glued into your um, journal or it can just be like a free floating envelope because you could journal on the back of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and make the belly band first. And so how I do that um, is I just take, and I'm gonna set these envelopes out of the way for now. I'm gonna stick them back in my little bag. This is one of my bags of envelopes. So as you can see, I've got some in there that are coffee dyed, some that are not, but they're all in there. Okay, so what I want to do for my belly band, I want to start by cutting this little edge off right here. Now, actually, I'm going to leave that edge. Let me, um, I think this is like a quarter of an inch. Let me grab a good ruler because I want to try and keep it about the same um, size. It's just slightly more than a quarter of an inch. So let me see, let me just measure. I'm so, see guys, I'm like so out of it. It has been a crazy day for me. I am just, I'm tired for some reason. I don't know why, but I am just really tired today. So I am just going to kind of get me a little line. Let me get my glasses on. These contacts are not working today. So I'm just going to draw a little line right there. That one should be plenty since I'm doing it on here. That remains to be seen though. So I'm just lining that up. Trying to get this as straight as I possibly can. And then I will cut it. And that looks pretty good. Okay, and so now I'm gonna cut this end off. There we go. Save this. 
All right, so now what we have is we have this flap that's open like this. Um, you can't open it all the way up, but we really don't have a need to. Um, you do need to measure the height of your paper or, you know, whatever book it's going to go into. Um, most of mine are seven inches high, so we'll go ahead and do this one at, um, based on a seven inch tall book. So I'm going to go just a little bit shy of the seven. And I'm going to cut that. Okay, so that will be our belly band. Now, um, you can either, you know, you can leave it like this and glue just this part and have it an open belly band and then just put some um, um, paper behind it. But I think I'm going to go back with the same belly band like we just did. So let me grab an image out of here that I want to use. And I just want to find something, um, you know, that can be seen, but it's not going to be too big because I want the entire thing to be seen. Now that is one thing about opening it on up. It does make it a lot easier to, um, figure out the image because you could just lay it out, but I really don't want to open it right now. And I think that little image right there would work. Actually, what about this one? It's already kind of cut out. Let's do that one. That one's easy enough. Okay, so let's cut that the where we need it. So I'm just going to trim it to begin with, and then we can figure out how we need to cut it, or if we need to cut it more. Okay, so I'm going to slide that in. Actually, I think it's going to be good. I just need to trim a little off the bottom. Well, yeah, it's glaring. I'm sorry about that. I think that'll work. So let me just cut a little bit off the bottom. Make sure again how it's looking. And I like the way that it looks. Love it. Okay, so let's glue that in. And if you're gluing it up or sewing it, you really don't have to glue, it, glue this in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and glue it in just to, you know, a little piece of mine. Now I'm just going to slot it in there, get it where I want it. Okay. okay. Now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I will probably sew mine. So I'll tell you what, let me go sew this and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So I have sewn around it. Um, I almost sewed around the window, but I think I want to put a brown thread in my machine to sew around the window, so I will do that later. And so I am just going to ink this up a little bit. Just getting some ink on those edges. And I'm going to do the right there at the window just a little bit. If any gets on the acetate, I can just wipe it all. Okay. So we have that. Um, let's see, we can do a sticker or we can do something down there to put a little embellishment on it. Um, just looking to see what I have. It's way too big, which a lot of these are probably going to be too big that's in this little book, but I think that'll work and it kind of brings out the greenery. So let's just stick that on there. Okay. And that just kind of brings out that greenery that's in there just a little bit. So we've got that one done already. 
so now let's move on and see what's the next one. So let's go ahead and do um, the window envelope next. So I'm going to set this one over here to the side. I'm going to... Did I say window envelope? That's what we're doing. I meant coin envelope. Ugh. I am being so goofy. All right. I'm just grabbing another envelope here. And so I am going to just cut it some um, to where... I mean, and I'm not going to keep it um, lined up over here because I think that would just be a little too narrow. So I'm okay with it not being um, the same size or have the same um, space on each side. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with my cutting. <laughs> okay, so basically we've already got it pretty much done. So the next thing I want to do is I want to fold this down just a little bit. I need to get my bone folder. And then I'm going to fold up right there, right above the window. And that's to show me what I need to cut off because I don't want my envelope flap coming down over my window. Okay, so now you can see. And I probably, we're going to need to cut this more because that envelope went down quite a bit. I did not pay attention to that. So yeah, make sure you pay attention to that. Like, you know, don't do like I did. Okay, so we've got that. Let me cut the end off because this will make it a little easier. And I needed just a sliver just so I can open it. All right, now that I have it open, I am going to cut this area right here. I'm going to get rid of that. It's just like when we make a coin envelope. It's the exact same type of thing. Okay. That's looking good. Now I am going to cut a thumb pull right here and I'm putting that other piece there. So that maybe uh, this will work, who knows at this point. Okay, so we've got a thumb pull cut. And my thumb pull is about as centered as it can get, huh? Oh guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now I need to decide if I want to put um, the coffee dyed paper behind it and if i do put coffee dyed paper i just recycled the um envelope and i'm just gonna cut that piece off right there and so if i do go with the coffee dyed paper then i recycle that and glue that little strip down or I can go with like some um, pattern paper, and I think I will. Let me see if I can grab it with my mic on. Hang on one second. a lot more difficult than it should have been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's just go with a piece of this. And what do we want to put down? So many pretty things. Hmm. Have I even used this? I don't yeah I guess I have. I don't know. I like that. Well, 
let's go with we want to get something that's going to look good against that um, coffee dye. So I'm not sure what I want to do. Maybe this. Let's do this. We're going with it. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay. So I need it to be, we'll say three inches. No. A little over three and a quarter. And then I want it to go all the way up here. So that so it's gonna need to go from at least down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three quarters. Okay, so a little over three and a quarter. Guys, I'm now see I'm not this is where it stresses me is <laughs> so we're just gonna Figure it out together. You know, if we have to cut stuff, we go back. We do. Not the end of the world. Now let's see how well my cutting was. Okay, I need to make it a little bit more narrow, which is not much. But I want it to come all the way to the edge right here because we're going to cover our envelope flap with it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue it down just like this because I can always cut off what I don't need. So let's just do that. Okay. So we're just going to glue it down. And again, I could probably sew this down, but um, for the sake of this video, I think I'm just going to glue it. And the biggest part that I need to stress over is my little flap up here. And I want to make sure I get it covered. And then the next thing is making sure that that closes. Because I can trim that part of the flap. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I can trim that up. We can actually, instead of having our um, Fargo cut, and I'm going to wait, because I think what I may do, instead of having the rounded corners, I may do the corners, the um, angle. Let's just go ahead and do that. And so see now, it doesn't matter that it's not completely to that edge. That works. See, you just have to think outside the box sometimes. Okay, so now let's cut off any excess. Because we don't want it sticking out. I'm just going along and cutting it. I'm trying to do it without cutting my actual envelope. <laughs> That's the challenge for me. It looks like I'm, yeah, it'll be okay because I need to, I'm going to have to trim it, which I can probably, probably should just put it on the paper trimmer and be done with it. Because you guys know how my cutting skills are. Our lack of cutting skills. And again, um, I can sew this, and I think I will. Let me go sew this, and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have sewn around that. Now I'm just going to fold this down. I don't want it covering my um, window. A bone folder. I have one in here somewhere. And now we can ink around this. We'll 
do that and then we'll figure out what we want to put in there. And I'm going to ink the back of this one as well because I don't know if I'm going to be gluing it in or if it's just going to be like a free floating pocket that I use like an embellished paper clip or something. So I want to make sure, you know, that the, the back looks good too. So I'm just going to ink around the edges here. Okay, so now we need to figure out the image or what we want to put down in there. Um, just trying to think if I want to go with something out of that. This again, let's see what we have. I am just looking to see what I have. I think I want something bright. Let's see. That's going the wrong way and I have like that. So let's just get another one of those. These are out of my um, vintage florals collection. I love this one. We're going with that one. <laughs> I know that I need to trim off some of this so that we can get a good size. And I think we've done the pocket. We said it was like three and a quarter. So let's do two and three quarters and see how that fits in there. And then we can go from there. Okay, that looks like that's going to fit in there good. I want that image to be showing. So I'm just going to so I need to do it there and I'm going to cut it about there. Don't you love my measuring? That's how I measure. Now let's see how that looks. Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, that looks good. So what we need to do, I need to back this. And I am grabbing a piece of coffee bag paper. And I should have had all of this together before I got started, but I didn't. This is some dark coffee bag paper. This is some that my son helped me do. He was having a little bit too much fun, which I love it, but I don't think I want to use that. So we'll just use this here. And let's back this card so that it'll be good and sturdy. And this will make a nice journal card. And I'm not going to sew around it right now, but this is another. I probably will end up sewing around this one. So just lining it up. It doesn't have to be lined up because I'm going to be cutting it, but it just means less waste. I'll get it lined up. Okay, so that's all I'm doing there. And then I'm just going to stick it in here to cut it. Spare y'all the agony of watching me try to cut it. was so we're just gonna have to do it like that okay and now I think I do want to round these corners and I probably should have waited for the glue to dry before I done that but you guys know me okay 
And then let's ink around it a little bit and then we'll put it in there. So this is my vintage florals. I don't know if this is one or two. I'd have to look, but I will link these below. And as you can see, these make beautiful journal cards. Beautiful, beautiful. If that's all you use that kit for was journal cards, it's worth it. Because I love that. Look at those images. Okay, so now let's slide that in there. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Okay. So now let's make the last one that I had that I showed you guys. Let me just move some of this so that we know what we're doing. Okay, so now we want to make the bookmark and the pocket. All right, now how I done that was simply I'm going to cut it off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that so I have that bottom area. And I'm just going to cut it about where I think, you know, would be even. So that's going to leave us that area there. And so I am just going to cut this spot here. I want to try and get it, you know, as close to even as I can. And that looks pretty good. And I am, <clears throat> do I need to have that open? I don't think I do, so I'm not going to bother opening that top right now unless I think that I need it opened. And so now we need an image to put in here. Um, and what about one of these? That would make a beautiful bookmark. So let's do that. And that's just still using some of our um, the vintage florals paper. I'm just trying to figure out about how big I need to cut this. So we'll see how that goes. And as you guys see, I really, I don't measure. I just, oh my goodness, guys, look how pretty that's going to be. I think I need to have it a little bit more narrow. So let's do it right there. And I'm not I'm using the wrong cutter. I was using the one that I used for my chipboard. Okay, so now let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, and so now I just need to figure out where to cut it lengthways, and we're gonna say about there. You guys know I'm so precise. And now well, let's see how that looks. Oh, guys, look how pretty. Wow. Okay, so let me glue this down. So I've got that glue on there, and now I'm just putting it in and trying to line it up where it needs to go. Gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, I could sew this. Um, let's let's not sew it right now. Let's just go ahead so that you guys can see that you don't have to sew it. If you don't have a sewing machine, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to glue down this side here. 
and along the bottom, because remember we didn't open the top. So because we didn't open the top, we don't have to glue the top. And of course I'm getting glue everywhere. I love that. I think that is so pretty. Let's ink around that. I'm loving these. Now we could round the corners of these with it being a bookmark or whatever, but I'm not going to. I will do a little ink there and definitely need to ink the back since this will be a bookmark. Okay. And now you can leave it like this. You can punch a regular hole in it and put a little thing. I have this little um, badge punch thing. I am going to punch a hole using that. And then I do I wanna put pink ribbon? Let's put some pink ribbon in this one. I will probably ink that ribbon up just a little bit because it's a little too pink for me, which is unusual because y'all know I love pink, but I think it's too pink for that. And so now I simply want you to stick that in and I can either um, tie it or I can glue it down. And I'm almost thinking I'm going to glue this one I think I will and then when I go to sew around it that will look really cute because when I sew it's going to stay right where I put it what I will probably do is sew it and come back on and show you guys because that it will make it so adorable let me make sure I got it lined up the way I want it. I think I want it like that. And so I'm gonna let that dry and then we can trim it off. But there's that. So now let's make the pocket. And so I told you to keep that piece that we um, cut off the end. And that's what we are going to use our pocket or use as our pocket. So I'm just going to trim it to where everything is even. So it's not a huge pocket, but you know, it's it's a pocket nonetheless, and you're not wasting your um, that piece of the coffee dyed paper. I will cut a thumb pull in this. Let me see where do I want to cut it. And I'm afraid it's not gonna be even, but that's okay. It'll be fun. And then let's put a little piece of that um, paper right there just so that we can um, kind of see a little bit of color without seeing that blue. So it only really needs to go right there. So let's do that. Glue that down. And I just want to line it up with the edge there. Get it lined up over here. Okay. And now let's glue this edge down. And remember, because we didn't, we still we already have two edges that are together, so we don't need to do anything but just glue that one side. That's it. And then we'll let that glue dry for just a second, and then we will um, clip the corners on that. And so we can embellish that if we want to. Um, see, I have a piece of coffee dyed cheesecloth here. We can use that. 
Um, what else do I have? Um, let's put a word. Inspire. Maybe, maybe we can do that. Maybe this video will inspire you to get out your junk mail envelopes and create something beautiful with them. So I'm just trimming this um, label down. These are labels that are in my Etsy. Okay. So let's ink that up. And I think I want a little bit of color back there. Um, let's tear a little piece of this. It doesn't have to be big. But I do want some color. Or what about if we do it like that? Or what about if we just do it like that? Let's do that. I think I like it. So let's glue that down. Okay. Well, my goodness. Y'all see that? And then we will glue our word down. And you see this on the back. It's because that's where I misprinted. Or I didn't like misprint. But whenever I'm creating a collection. I have to print it several times. To make sure that I have all the print features. You know I have everything correct. And so sometimes I'll print on the back. Of you know something I've already printed on. Okay, so now let's ink that up, and then we'll be done, and we'll go over what we made today. So just put a little bit of ink. I still have quite a bit of ink on my brush, so I'm not even going to bother to get more. And there we go. Okay, so what we made today is we made... Oh, let me go sew this real quick, and I will be back. Okay, I'll be back. So I've sewn that, as you can see, and I've trimmed it. So today we made these. All out of junk mail envelopes. So we've got this beautiful um, bookmark that we use some of the vintage florals in to um, create that background. Then we have this cute little belly band. Um, this one is seven inches for our journals. Then we have this coin envelope style um, that we made that has uh, a journal card made out of that vintage florals paper. I should have sewn this while I was at the sewing machine, but I'll do it. And then we also have this cute little um, pocket here to go into a journal. So there you go, guys. All of that was made out of junk mail envelopes. Um, recycle your envelopes. And if this project has inspired you in any way, please let me know. If you make some of these, let me see them. Um, tag me in on post them in our Facebook group. Uh, if you have other ideas for me on how to use some of my junk mail envelopes, I would appreciate it if you would let me know some of your ideas. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.